So what is the true cost of CRISPR? Well, we were able to calculate this from the benchmark report and put it into a calculator. So from the results that people give it give to us based on the reagents that you're using. So in this case, this is for plasmid and lipid based transfection. People were on average spending just under $20,000 to create a clone and over 115 um, hands-on hours to complete this, which averaged to about 16 weeks. Uh, so it's a huge amount of time to create a knockout clone. Now we have the option of, which is a little bit more affordable, to take a, an edit and get a knockout pool delivered, and then you can take that pool and do the clonal isolation yourself. So this takes out the pain of doing the edits and optimizing for that particular cell line. And if you look at these costs, we've been able to save over $14,000 if you include the reagent cost as well as the labor that you'd have to do. And we've shaved down the hands-on hours uh, by almost 100 hours. And we can finish about half the time sooner, so only at eight weeks. And obviously, we're getting a much higher efficiency. So you can always use that pool straight away and don't have to take it to clone. And that will also shave off more time and money in the process. And lastly, we can go all the way through and make the knockout cell clone. And this will also save you quite a bit of money in comparison of doing it yourself. So you're saving around $5,000, as well as shaving off about seven weeks uh, for us to do the entire workflow. So you'll get the clone in about nine weeks. Um, and so obviously the, the efficiency here is going to be 100% because we're going to deliver you a knockout cell clone. So if you're using lentivirus or another type of transfection, check out the CRISPR calculator where you can put in your own parameters and it will show you the kind of savings that you can get by outsourcing either part or all of the CRISPR workflow.